today I'm going to show you how to run um, probably any file without um, like using the terminal or anything. So like basically you're creating a desktop shortcut for it and then running it outside of the terminal so you don't have to keep the terminal open all the time. Now this is kind of a continue to my other video or I showed you how to run an exe in a jar file. You can do the same command commands and stuff, but then, like, yeah, I'll, I'll go into more detail later. So, we will get started. So, the first step of running your thing. It, your java jar exe file is have it ready so mine is two jar dot jar the same one that I used last time I think and then we can just um, so now you have to install a program called Aranax so you can search that up Aranax Ubuntu here so then you, have, you just have to add the PPA and then so do you have to install Aranax Nautilus because this is Ubuntu. You have to use Nautilus, but it depends on your file manager, like your default one. So like if you installed Thuner or something, you have to you still use Nautilus because that's the default file manager that came with Ubuntu. Anyways, after you are done, um you can go to like have your like this is why i told you to have your jar file ready you just have to um oh, my thing crashed uh oh oh okay let's try that again my 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 file window just crashed anyways so now you can right click it and press create a starter for this program and it should pop up Aranax. And yeah, it should automatically select application. If it doesn't and it says file or location is probably not going to work. So you want to make sure it it's an application. So now you can actually remove the dot jar if you want to neaten things up. And then this is the command, right? Like you don't want to just execute the thing because you actually like what I did in the other video, you actually have to execute it by going java minus jar here. And you can do run in terminal if you want it to pop up a terminal window, but again, that won't, it won't be on all the time. So this is the whole point of it to be on the, all on all the time. So you want to keep that unchecked. But you can do the same for wine by going wine and then the name of the exe file, but I'm going to stick to Java. So darn it, I have to redo that. Whatever. Um, so I'm just going to do that again. And go Java minus a jar and the name of the jar file. And that's probably all the necessary stuff. You can also browse for a custom icon. And it should resize based on your um, based on the size it wants. But that's basically all you need. And um, yeah, that's probably it. So now what you do is you have to go file. Say, actually, no, 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 no. We can't do that now. You have to make sure that your show hidden files thing and your file manager is checked. So you want to check that because that's how we're going to navigate to the hidden folder when we save it. So now you can go save. Oh, no, 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 no. Cancel. So now you can go um, file, save as, and go home. And now you should see all these dot folders. Look for dot local. It should be, yep, here. Local, share, and applications. So you're going to look for applications right up here. And you're just going to save it right here. So, okay. Now do not close it yet. It says loading loaded file saved. Okay. Now when it disappears, press the power off button, like that. Okay, so now we probably have everything ready. Just wait a bit, and then you should get your two jar um, shortcut pop up here. If you had a custom icon, it would do that. But right now, I just have this. 
I'm going to press enter, and it should successfully run this without using any terminal window. So it will be open all the time until I close it. And it's actually kind of handy to have a desktop shortcut because you can run a jar file by just like any other program because it's going to pop up in here and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, if you want, I'm probably going to do this, but I'm going to turn off show hidden files. That's not required, but it'll need to end your file manager up. Anyways, um, that's the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time. Bye!